you're not the minister. Thank you, Mr. Ryan, Deputy Member for Ryan and Minister. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Hey, thank you. As many That's here know, up, the <laughs> Ryan electorate is home to Gallipoli Barracks at Inogra and Seven Brigade. This garrison is certainly a well-oiled war machine, and I appreciate the strong relationship I share with the men and women and their families who are based there. During my term, we've been fortunate in the outstanding soldiers who have served as commander, from Paul McLaughlin, Greg Bilton, Adam Finlay, and most recently, Anthony Rawlins. I speak today with particular emphasis on the dedication of Brigadier Anthony Rawlins, who has served in the Australian Army for more than 30 years and experienced his fair share of deployment conflict. As commander of the 7th Brigade, Brigadier Rawlins has been pivotal in ensuring his soldiers are battle ready and conditioned to cope in challenging environments. Recently, I was informed that Brigadier Rawlins will commence a new posting and promotion in Canberra. I'd like to place on record my appreciation to Brigadier Rawlins for his commitment and the time we've worked together during his leadership in Brisbane. I look forward to meeting with the incoming commander, Brigadier Hocking. Having spent the past two years at the United Kingdom War College and with an infantry background, Brigadier Hocking has also held a number of postings and brings a wealth of experience to further the development and success of the 7th Brigade. I also take this opportunity to pay tribute to Major General Paul McLaughlin, AOCSC, who retires from his significant career in the Army at the end of this year. As a current commander of one division, General McLaughlin comes from a serving family, including his father, retired Major General David McLaughlin, and has an extensive military career spanning more than 30 years. In the year 2000, he served as a commander of the diplomatic supplementation staff in Honiara during the conflict in the Solomon Islands. During this deployment, he coordinated the evacuation of Australian and other approved nationals and arranged military support to the initial peace negotiations between the combatants. In 2011, closer to home, General McLaughlin commanded Operation Queensland Flood Assist during the Queensland Flood Response and Recovery. For his leadership and strategic oversight, he was awarded the Conspicuous Service Cross for this role. I have come to know Major General McLaughlin well, and I would like to extend my best wishes to him and his family as they commence the next stage in their lives, which to date has been consumed by an often demanding role and numerous overseas deployments in the Australian Army. Mr Deputy Speaker, while this speech has provided me with an opportunity to recognise the cont contributions of those in the upper echelons of the Australian Defence Force, I would like to place on record my gratitude to all who have served and continue to serve irrespective of their rank. I thank the honourable member for